I, I think it's the same answers, right? Superintelligence in one form or another is going to apply. My own view, which is maybe different from the consensus, is that we're going to develop brilliant AI physicists, brilliant AI biologists, brilliant AI chemists, brilliant AI writers, brilliant AI historians. Um, but that, that the concept, that, and, the, and there'll be systems that can drive them. It's not at all obvious that if you were Einstein in 1902 with that amount of math available to you, that you would have had the brilliance to invent um, a, a special relativity using the algorithms of today. In the industry, there is a view that that's the next really hard problem. There are various theories about it. Uh, one answer is you could just do uh, repetition. You could just keep asking questions, you know, the monkey or the keyboard kind of thing, and eventually you do it. Another way is that you could give the optimization function to be curiosity, and if you just wait long enough, it'll discover special relativity. But that's not how Einstein did it. Einstein sat with his little pen and paper at the age of 18 or 17 with a lamp and figured it out. We're not there yet. My own view is that's going to be a very hard boundary. So in other words, we're going to get to superhuman behavior, which is not the same thing as super intelligence, which I would say Einstein and Kissinger and so forth really were. Graham, it's such a